How do you like my fire in the background? Hey, dual monitor setup. We got a Himalayan pink salt lamp. We got the diffuser going with some RGB lights. Yes, 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 yes. It's a work in progress. What's up, beautiful souls? My name is Karina, and today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that can help you for better sleep. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So welcome to the new setup. How do you like the shindig? It's a work in progress. There's still a lot of things that I have to do, but we're just gonna go with it today. So let's just roll right into it. So the first thing that I cannot stress for good sleep is to sleep in a pitch dark, like dark as coal, dark as the undergrowth, dark as like hell or death can consume within a soul or a being or a body um, room and because that really just helps you get in the notion i cannot sleep with any light like even if there's like a little light from like the laptop or a light from some other electronic device I will have a fit even if it's like the smallest light it will irritate the out of me I have to sleep in pitch black darkness and a great way to do that is you know not have your electronics in your bedroom your bedroom should be definitely just for sleep not work but I know in an ideal world that is not realistic these days um, but try to keep things separate you know try to separate things as much as you possibly can and that will help with sleep and the other thing that I really, really like is uh, blackout curtains or dark curtains that can help just conceal the light from the outside. Um, you know, the other thing I hate the most is when you have some type of light like peeking in um, through your blinds, your curtains. It That's another thing that just irritates the crap out of me. I remember the last place I was in, I literally took like bed sheets and and like planted it all over um, the curtains because I like darkness um, <laughs> I like literally sit in darkness and it makes me super happy and calm and cool and collected and motivated um, I light is just uh, the, the older I get the more sensitive I get towards light I don't know I just become super photophobic but anyways um, I literally put um, the sheets around the curtains to block out any light it looks super tacky AF but I didn't give um, a crap because it did the job it got the job done and I had some of the best night sleeps in that old room R.I.P. <laughs> Moving on, the second thing that goes hand in hand with a dark room is a cold room. It is stated that if you sleep in a really cold room and snuggle up with all your blankies and you know layer on the layers, it really helps just calm your body down and you literally get the best night's sleep. I remember my heater broke <laughs> two winters back and I lived in an area where it blizzard. And so I had a portable heater that I would use sometimes if I was absolutely freezing. Like I didn't want to like freeze to death, obviously. Don't freeze yourself to death. Um, and um, sometimes I wouldn't turn the portable heater on just because I like sleeping in cooler rooms, the temperature. Um, hotter rooms tend to make me super claustrophobic. I kind of feel like I get um, hyperventilated, anxiety attacks kind of happen, panic attacks. Um, and I can't breathe either, hence the diffuser huh? or humidifier, but this one serves us both. And I did a video on those two things too, by the way. I will link them up here and down below, so go check it out. Ayo, what's up self-promo? I don't even care. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I would literally sometimes just not even turn the portable heater on um, or turn it to like the lowest setting um, just so there was like, you know, a little bit of 
of heat coming through, but it was still a freezing cold room. Um, so yeah, dark room in coldness. It literally is like Dracula's dungeon or just a dungeon in general, which I'm a vamp, hashtag wanna be vamp for life. No, I'm just kidding, um, but I wish. Um, but yeah, literally like a vampire, uh, Lair or a dragon lair or a dungeon or that kind of thing. Yeah, my weirdness is definitely coming out in this video. Woohoo! Okay, moving on to the second point that I have for better night sleep, and that is drinking tea. So, calming tea such as chamomile tea, lavender tea, valerian root tea, or you can also drink lemon balm. Things that are going to help calm your central nervous system down and just calm your whole body down. And I love tea. I'm a huge tea advocate. I cannot stress enough. I mean, if you watched any of my videos on like my medicinal videos, I talk a lot about tea. Um, I brew a lot of different types of tea. And in the evening, I have to have some type of tea. Um, I don't know. It just, it just, I don't know if it's like a mental thing at this point. Like, I just really love tea, but it really helps calm me down as well. So, you know, it is said that if you're having trouble sleeping, you might try some type of calming tea. And they also have like calming blends out there that you can purchase from like mainstream brands. So you can like look into that and they throw all of these different herbs in together, make a little concoction and you know, it does its magic supposedly um you know there's a mental thing that goes with that component as well it's not just like the physicality of it it's a mental and emotional state as well you know everything in balance everything in equilibrium mind body soul uh physical mental and emotional all come together dun 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 why am i so weird in this video i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know the third thing that can help with sleep for better sleep or just sleep in general or just to calm you down and get ready for sleep um is taking a warm bath or shower i personally love doing this i love taking a shower right before i go to bed i'm not a bath person literally can't do it um i don't find it peaceful at all it actually just stresses me out and then the whole time i'm thinking the amount of water i like wasted to fill the tub Anybody else think that or is it just me? I know a lot of people are into like baths these days. Never have been, never will be. Uh, maybe when I was a kid for sure, if you have your little toy ducky, super fun, but not as an adult. Um, but yeah, so showers do the same thing. It just really helps like calm me down um water again is you know energetically very calming and you know energetically charged so it can be used or utilized in that way to help calm you down and for me personally i have a very strong affinity towards water the element that i resonate with the most or am attracted to the most um and have the most energetic um what am i trying to say like energetic pull towards versus the other ones um so yeah that really really helps calm me down literally i could be like stressed out the kazoo and honestly i have really bad stress levels they are not the greatest i highly recommend to just like not you know start stressing <laughs> it is not cool stress sucks balls um but yeah literally i could be like stressed out of the kazoo and then just go in the water and just completely like feel free and feel like nothingness and calmness and like you know all of my stresses and all the negativity just like wash away and that kind of goes into spirituality which i mean if my videos don't go into spirituality then like i don't know what i'm doing because i always have to tie some type of spiritual component into these kinds of videos right am i right no no yeah go watch some of my other videos if you don't know what i'm talking about the fourth thing that helps with better sleep is you're not gonna like this you're not gonna like this at all but to reduce your screen time and really to completely eliminate screen time one to two hours 
preferably two to three hours prior to bed really take that time to like focus on your you know bedtime routine you know whatever that is you know drinking tea getting your skincare ready going in the shower um you know brushing your teeth i don't know whatever you do before you go to bed you know your shindig um <laughs> and getting into a routine of reducing the electronics or you know preferably or like more so just completely eliminating them um you know that one to three hour block prior to going to bed and i know that's extremely hard because nowadays you know everyone is just hooked on that thing i am a culprit as well um we're constantly locked into technology but you know this studies have shown it and i'm sure you've heard of it it's nothing new um just that screen is that blue light very aggravating to the eyes and you want to also dim the lights too and make sure that you're not like in bright light um to get ready for bed and for your circadian rhythm to like you know chime in and for your body to realize and be like okay now it's time for me to shut down i'm getting ready for bed i mean it's all a mental thing right it's a mental thing um so yeah really 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 reducing the amount of screen time and if you absolutely must 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 use some type of technology or light just making sure that it is you know very calming and still going to serve you as you're going to bed and not something that's going to be like smack dab in your eyes and fluorescent and wake you up and you know then you won't be able to sleep and one of the things that i absolutely love um for me screen time is really electronics as far as laptop and um phone go that's my biggest culprit and so what i love to do is put on the the night um vision or the night sleep i don't even know what the hell you call it um option <laughs> where it kind of takes out that you know excessive brightness and that excessive glare and that blue light i mean it's not a hundred percent gonna you know help with that but it it does do a lot i've noticed a difference and i actually have it on my my phone and my laptop 24 7 and so literally when i use another computer or another device and i don't have it on there it's literally like what the hell my eyes are like you tripping you tripping you so, some stuff going on like i can't see but again that has to go with me being super <laughs> and just i don't know i don't know we're not gonna talk about that i don't have rabies okay that's one of the symptoms if you're wondering if you're ever wondering if you become super sensitive to light or photophobic watch out for that in animals just saying anyways moving on the fourth thing that can really help with sleep is actually going to bed at 10 p.m and i know again this is not what people want to hear um a little bit before 10 p.m or right at 10 p.m i try to do this i'm a type of person that can sleep all day i'm like a sleeping beauty i love sleep i if i could i would marry sleep honestly i need like 14 hours of sleep <laughs> but sometimes that's just that just doesn't happen right um but try to get at least eight hours of sleep sleep is just super important of course i'm not going to go into it but i'm sure you know the significance of sleep i mean people talk about it all the time it just really helps with your overall health and just like everything about the function of your body um and your state of being and your concentration and blah 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 um but yeah really trying to go to bed at 10 p.m i know i know i know it's difficult but honestly if i could i would just stay in bed forever <laughs> i am just really weird and i'm just one of those people that loves sleep actually funny story i don't know I, i'm going on a lot of tangents and rants in this video but it's okay it's okay um once when i was in college <laughs> way back when i was in college i was taking this stupid um course that we had to take that was like mandatory in order for us to graduate but it was like one of those elective classes it was like a technology class and i was like so not into it because i had already took it in high school but they didn't count it um as credit because i took it in high school as college credit but when i transferred my credits over it didn't transfer blah 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 whatever okay and so I was like super pissed off that I had to take this class because they were like, you're not going to be able to graduate if you haven't taken this class. And I was like, F you. But anyways, I 
hate the first day of class, especially when like teachers try to do icebreakers. It was a smaller class and I completely understand, like it's super awkward, it's weird, but I'm just not that type of person. I'm not a social being, believe it or not. Like when it comes to like actually being in public, I have social anxiety, like seriously, I have a video about that. Um, and so literally the teacher was like, okay, go around the room and tell us like, you know, what you like to do in your free time. And I was like, what the hell? I have no life. I'm in college. I, at that point I was studying to become a doctor. <laughs> Uh, that changed drastically and so um, <laughs> I literally had no life and I was like free time what is that what, what, what is free time I study 24 7 um, and so <laughs> when it came down to me everyone was saying like stupid things like oh I like to hang out with my friends or like I like to play video games which that's not stupid I would do that too or like watch TV or I don't know most people said hang out with friends chill with friends I don't have friends Ayo. <laughs> um, clearly I'm weird I said sleep and everyone giggled and I was like yeah I'm a boss and the teacher chuckled too so I was like I'm gonna get an A in this class and I totally did <laughs> that's not how you get A's in that class by the way <clears throat> moving on the fifth thing that you can take is a melatonin supplement we all know that melatonin is the hormone that your pe penal gram <laughs> what <laughs> I just need to take a deep breath and slow down We all know that melatonin is a hormone that is produced by the penile, pineal, pineal gland. Wow, why did I want, what, yeah, this is exactly why I was not a doctor. Okay, pineal gland um, that helps you prepare for sleep and, you know, again, your circadian rhythm kicks in and you know your body's like okay it's ready for me to go into sleep mode and you know do the things that I need to do when it's you know in sleep mode and a lot of times what happens is people don't produce enough or they aren't producing melatonin at all and a lot of that has to do with you know that screen time again um your body's not prepared for you know this point in time when you need to turn off completely and shut down your body is still like very active especially your mind because you're you know associated with so much technology and you know that blue light and it just hinders the production of the melatonin so taking these supplements all natural by the way make sure you do your research on types of melatonin that you supplement with there are a lot of phonies out there um will help you know with the production of that the sixth thing that is good for better sleep is breathing techniques, believe it or not. Like, I'm not even talking about, like, excessive breathing techniques. Please don't do that. Don't do the vigorous ones. Um, that will do the complete opposite. I'm talking about the ones that really help calm you down. I mean, there's so many out there. Pick your poison. You can even do some type of, like, very gentle guided meditation if you want to. But I highly suggest you don't do that just because I am not the type of person that is going to say as a yoga and meditation teacher that you should meditate right before you go to bed because you shouldn't but you know again it depends on your lifestyle and the stressors and your mind everyone works differently but for me as a teacher in the that avenue I would just suggest not doing it right before you go to bed but there are um, certain breathing techniques like you can incorporate one being ujjayi breath which I did a video about that years ago it is so old i will link it up here and down below go check it out if you're interested on in learning how to do that technique uh, but it's super calming and very gentle and it just really relaxes your central nervous system and when I was, you know, back in college, I didn't sleep um, at all because my mind was constantly racing and I was super stressed about exams and school and my grades and all of that and applying to, you know, a doctorate program and like trying to compete with all these people. I um, actually used to do this and it really helped calm me down because I knew I needed at least a couple hours of sleep to help, you know, with my body and my function and, you know, recharging myself and so um I used to do this breathing technique and even sometimes when I'm super riled up still I will go back to this breathing technique um to help fall back asleep or fall into that sleep mode um and it's really really helpful but I highly suggest you don't do vigorous ones like I stated like Kapalbati which is breath of fire that is just going to completely do the opposite and just recharge you and make you super alert and you don't want to do that another really simple breathing 
way to go about it if you don't want to learn like a technique or whatever which is not even that complex but if you don't want to learn ujjayi breath it's just taking long deep breaths and just really focusing on the breath and calming your nervous system down and you know de-stressing yourself so just essentially focusing on the long deep breaths the seventh thing to do to help with better sleep is actually aromatherapy and that helps tremendously like with essential oils using a diffuser like i stated and you know you can use a diffuser or you can just put aromatherapy like essential oils on yourself be careful because you know they are significantly concentrated you don't want to like harm yourself so use like you know good quality essential oils but essential oils um are very specific to help with sleep like you know you can use lavender you can use chamomile or there are so many different um combinations that you can find or you can make your own um yeah it's just super relaxing and it depends on what type of mood or feel that you want and you can create that through the essential oils and i love 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 doing that but it is essentially a huge um therapy that helps with sleep and just calming your mind and calming you down and getting you ready for bed the ninth thing that you can do is take magnesium foot baths and i love doing this you can also consume magnesium orally please food grade um but back to the foot baths i love doing this because i generally don't like to consume a lot of liquid before bed and i will talk about that in my next and final point but um this way your feet are literally leeches like they literally are leeches straight into you know your your system you know if you believe in or practice or know about holistic alternative medicine and the nadis and the channels your feet are you know some of the main channels when it soaks up energy very energetic um so it's a quick way to get magnesium into your system and it's really calming and soothing and i just love foot baths i don't know about y'all and magnesium itself is just very calming i did a whole video about that uh, as well i will link it up here and down below go check it out um and the same effects obviously orally consumed as well but personally i just love the foot baths just because again it kind of goes just that same mentality of like the shower and just very calming and water for me personally that's just my choice of poison but again find your happy medium but if you don't know magnesium is a natural stress reliever amongst a lot of other things and nine times out of ten an average person is actually very depleted in magnesium and we actually need it it's a very very important um mineral that we need within our bodies for health function like severe health function i'm talking and the last and final tip that i have number 10 um going back to the liquid consumption please 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 do not consume liquid one to two hours prior to bed it will literally make you get up in the middle of the night and screw up your whole you know sleep cycle because you have to go potty because you didn't drink enough water during the day so you decide to chug it right before you go to bed to help with your water intake anybody anybody do that because i've done that so many times um yeah it sucks when you have to literally get up in the middle of the night to go pee it literally pisses me off because again i don't want to leave my bed ever i love my bed tremendously um and yeah who wants to get up in the middle of the night when you're having an amazing dream or whatever and get woken up by your body because your aretha is like basically like i gotta go and i can't hold it anymore and i'm about to piece my pants <laughs> I promise I am not on anything right now like holy <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me okay but yeah try to reduce the amount of liquid intake you take prior to bed and if you can completely cut it out one to two hours prior then I highly suggest you do that if not then limit the amount of intake because they will really help you in the long run and you won't have to get up in the middle of the night unless if you like getting up in the middle of the night to go pee I don't know I, I personally don't like doing that but 
that's on you. So those are my top 10 tips for better sleep. Super weird video, I know. And <laughs> I'm just getting back into the motion of these things. I'm just getting fired up. Let's go. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications. And other than that, hope you have a fantastic day. Health and peace.